little groupers, it's time for another story. I hope you're all doing well today. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, lips are closed, hands are still, feet are very quiet, you should really try it. Story time starting now. And the story I have today is called Hodge the Hedgehog. You ever seen a hedgehog before? Be careful not to touch them because they might spike you. Do you know what those are called? Ask me dad what their spikes are called. Hodge the hedgehog hogged the hedge. He didn't like to share. The other creatures thought him rude, but Hodge just didn't care. Hodge guarded his door to make sure no, none came in the night. Night and day, Hodge hogged away. His nerves were right on edge. His eyelids drooped. His shoulders stooped. Hodge could not go on. He thought it best to take a rest, but who should come along? It was a grey mouse in search of a house, and he stopped at Hodge's door. What a fine hedge, he declared from the edge. Is there room inside for one more? Why should I share, Have Hodge with a glare, hogging's what hedgehogs are for. Now I must go to bed, poor hogger hedge said, and he shooed Mouse away from the door. Oh dear, but while Hodge slept. Mouse softly crept to peep inside the hedge. What a huge place! There's so much space! How odd that Hodge hogs at the edge. Poor Hodge must be lonely, said Mouse, and if only he realised that sharing is fun. Then he had an idea. I could make it nice here, but how will I get it all done? So he called Marvin Mole, who told Vernon Vole, who passed on the news to Bill, who told Harry Hare. The others were there and the hedge house began to fill. One by one, they joined in the fun, and still, Hodge made no sound. They polished and rubbed, and painted and scrubbed, and hung pictures all around. They swept Hodge's floor, mended his door, and cleaned his plates and cups. And last but not least, they prepared a fine feast and then work Hodge Hedgehog up. How do you think he reacted? My hedge! Hodge cried when he saw them inside and he haughtily huffed at each one. But after a while, he gave a big smile when he saw all the work they had done. For to have them inside was quite nice, he decided. Perhaps his hedgehogging was wrong. Because we know that it is very kind to share. Hodge Hedgehog agreed. It was time indeed for his Hodge Hogger days to end. The more the merrier, Hodge Hedgehog said. That was very kind of him. And Hodge never hedgehogged again.
lovely story. It's so nice to remember to share and to be kind. If you're going to sleep, I hope that you have a lovely night's sleep or enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.